Hi, Dr. James Napoli here, Chief Medical Officer of Blue Cross Blue Shield of Arizona. Recently, we've had two vaccines that have come to the market and are approved by the FDA for COVID-19 are now being used throughout our country, as well as the state of Arizona. My team and I have been getting a lot of questions about these vaccinations. We want to be able to share some information about some of the most common questions that we are hearing. How do COVID-19 vaccines work? Vaccinations work with your body's natural defenses by initiating a response that helps your body develop immunity to the disease against which you're being vaccinated. So they're gonna trigger an immune response for your body. So your body will now be ready to fight the infection when you do come in contact with it. Why do I need the vaccine if I have already had the virus and have antibodies? It's very important that if you have contracted an infection with COVID-19 that you still receive the vaccination. The antibodies that you are able to build from the infection, it's not proven as to how long they're sustainable and how effective they really are. So it's very important that the vaccination be utilized as it's truly the best way to ensure protection for the long term. Can I still get COVID-19 once I've been vaccinated? It seems counterintuitive, but you can. If a person was exposed shortly before or shortly after receiving their vaccination, they may still get sick with COVID-19. Additionally, no vaccine is 100% protective. And so there may be some people who receive all of the required doses of the vaccination, but will still get sick. And that's the reason why it's really important that we continue to mask up, socially distance, and wash our hands. How long until the vaccine immunity kicks in? So for each person, the vaccine will take seven to 14 days after the second dose to give 95% immunity. And during these weeks, you can still become infected. Even after full immunity, there is still that small chance, that 5% chance of infection, even though the symptoms should be much milder. So it's very important to understand that even though you've been vaccinated, you can still transmit the virus to other people who are not yet va vaccinated or who have not yet reached their full immunity after their two shots. If I receive the vaccine and I get COVID, will I get as sick as I would have? That's one of the best values of receiving the COVID-19 vaccines is they seem to prevent people who do acquire COVID-19 from getting as sick or requiring hospitalization. So there seems to be a protective benefit, even if it isn't absolute. How long does the immunity last from the vaccines? Because the COVID-19 vaccinations have only recently been developed, scientists are studying how long the vaccination will provide protection and how long the antibodies will last to the vaccination. So the need for a repeated series of vaccinations is not yet known. So two doses of the currently available vaccinations are out in the marketplace. One is from Pfizer and one is from Moderna. And they are uh, utilized to acquire immunity at a very high percentage, between 90 to 95% effective for COVID-19. What's in the vaccines? So the vaccinations have uh, both an active component and an inactive component. The active component is the modified genetic protein that actually triggers that immune response that your body will naturally produce. The inactive components are the of the vaccination are really for stabilizing or preserving the active components. And these compounds are comprised of different um, formulations, including salts, fats, and different types of sugar components. What are the main side effects from the vaccine? Most common side effects are similar to those from the flu vaccine. The main difference is that more people experience these minor side effects from the COVID-19 vaccine. These effects are mild to moderate and include pain or swelling at the injection site, fever, chills, tiredness, and headache. They should go away within a few days and are a normal sign that your body is building protection against the virus. Can I choose which vaccine to receive? At this time, it's not possible for people to choose which vaccine they receive. Uh, they'll sort of be at the mercy of whatever the facility or provider has available for distribution that day. It's super important though that if the vaccine requires a second dose that the person receive that same uh, type of vaccine 
for that second dose. You can't mix up and say, take Moderna the first one and Pfizer the second or the other way around. What will it cost to receive the vaccine? It's good news, the vaccine is free for all Americans. So no one should have to pay to be vaccinated. However, providers and practices doctors, pharmacists who administer the vaccine may be able to charge a fee for administration of the vaccine, but the vaccine has been purchased by the federal government and is free to all Americans. It is very important to remember that information about this situation is very fluid and things can change quickly. Stay safe.